my name is Adam and I am on the Papercut support team here in Portland, Oregon. Today I'll be going over how to install Papercut NG on Mac OS. First, if you do not already have the installer for Papercut NG downloaded, head on over to papercut.com and download the free 40 day trial. This is the full version of Papercut NG, so you'll be able to check out all the features that Papercut has available and then uh, decide how to best use it in your environment. Now, before we start the actual installation process, let's chat about preparing your print server for Papercut NG. First, double check the system requirements on our website to make sure your system is capable of running Papercut. You can find these by searching system requirements at papercut.com. Second, make sure that your print queues are set up on the server prior to installation so the Papercut system can automatically begin tracking print activity. Keep in mind that Papercut will not track print jobs that are sent from a workstation directly to the printer via IP address, only print jobs that are sent through the print queues that have been shared from the system where Papercut is installed. You can see here that I have already gone ahead and added a few printers to Mac OS, which Papercut will automatically begin tracking after being installed. I did this by adding it via IP address, just as you would on any other printer, and also make sure that you use the HP JetDirect socket protocol. And the protocol might seem trivial, but it's actually really important for compatibility, and we've seen it perform much better than the other options for local queues on the Papercut system. One last test I recommend is adding a print queue that is being shared over the network from your server to a separate workstation, and just test printing to make sure that it's good to go over your network. Now, once your print queues are all set up, let's go ahead and run the Papercut NG application installer. And the only thing to note here is that we want to make sure that we're selecting the Papercut NG standard install. These are all pretty straightforward installer steps, so I'm just going to kind of click through these for the default settings, but keep in mind that this is where you can read the end user license agreement and change the installation directory if necessary. In general, it's best to install it in the default location, which is what I am going to do. The length of time it takes for the installer to run is going to depend on your server, but for the sake of the video, I am going to use the power of editing to speed things up a little bit. Once installed, the Papercut configuration should continue automatically in your default web browser. If for some reason this is not the case and the browser doesn't open automatically, you can continue the configuration by opening your web browser manually and then going to localhost colon 9191 slash admin. First up, let's set an admin password for the built-in admin accounts as well as set our location. Next, we're going to choose an installation type that best describes our organization. And this is going to tailor the system defaults to best suit our needs right off the bat. I'm going to select education from my server. Just choose whatever one fits your needs. And this next page is going to set the cost for color and grayscale pages. Let's set ours to 10 cents for color and 5 cents for grayscale. Now, since we chose the education preset, we're going to see a unique page to set the initial credit for our users. If you choose one of the other preset options, this page won't appear and you're, you'll see a couple other different pages, uh, but since we chose education, we're gonna go ahead and set the initial credit. Let's set it to a balance of $20 and then we'll check the box to deny usage when their balance runs out. Now next up is user synchronization. Now, this is gonna be different depending on your environment. So if you use AD or LDAP for user management, we, we recommend setting up a Papercut group or OU to sync to Papercut for easy organization. Now in this case, I'm going to import all users from my local Mac standard directory, which is also totally fine to get a feel for Papercut. Now we're going to see a confirmation screen just to double check our selections. And once we've made sure everything looks good, let's click confirm to finish the configuration. Now once the system is done getting everything in order, let's click log in to be taken to the Papercut admin console. All right, first things first, let's make sure that everything looks good on our users and printers, and then we'll send a test print job to make sure Papercut is tracking. First, let's head to users, and yep, all my users have been imported and everything looks good to go there. And now let's head to printers. So here you can see that the printers that had been added to my server previously are in the list, and everything looks good to go here as well. Now I'm gonna send a print job from the server just as a test to make sure Papercut is tracking on the print queues. Now that the print job has been set, let's head to the Logs tab. 
And there you have it. Our test print has been tracked and charged to the server's user account as expected, and Papercut is working like a charm. Now, I hope this helps get you started on your journey of using Papercut. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I definitely recommend taking advantage of our vast knowledge base and manual at papercut.com to learn more. Lastly, if, if you run into any issues or have any questions on any of Papercut's many features, head to support.papercut.com to get in touch with us here on the support team, and we will be happy to help. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, and enjoy using Papercut. Papercut.